Sounds of jackhammers breaking concrete and sights of cranes in the sky is the talk around campus at Dillon University. The Vice President of Facilities explains the importance of these renovations. This time right now is historic in regards to the opportunity that Dillard has to grow from a facilities perspective at the cost that it is. Students, faculty, and staff say they welcome improvements to on-campus housing in the student union, but question whether this will increase student enrollment, which has been at an all-time low since the storm. Dillard's interim president says one has nothing to do with the other. I think we sometimes mix apples and oranges. I mean, if we don't ever have a, another student, the students who are here deserve the very best, the very finest. Construction costs will run the university about $20 million and is funded by the National Park Service, FEMA, the HBCU Fund, and Dilley University. McKendo anticipates completion of all projects by the end of 2012. Even though construction will improve things on campus, some feel that it has handicapped things and that the proper accommodations for parking were not met. <music> Music professor Violet Bowers has a disability that restricts her movement. With so few parking spaces, Bowers is forced to walk further distances or arrive an hour and a half earlier to find close parking. I've been here 50 years. I'm not saying I'm special. I don't want to be special, but I do want accommodations. In spite of the hurdle, she remains faithful to her students. So it's a very difficult situation, but I have not missed one class. McKendo says his department will eventually add parking, but in the meantime, he's asking for patience as they work through the issues. I'm Toy Thornton reporting.